the air that I am breathing in right now is five times the level considered a health risk by the WHO. And it's not owing to only the scooters and the other vehicles on the road. No, 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 no. It's something much bigger at play. Something that the regular people of Thailand and indeed this part of Asia have little to no control over. Something known as burning season, which is taking place right now and contributing levels of so-called PM 2.5 particles, which penetrate tissue, get into the blood and can cause all kinds of things, including lung disease, strokes and cancer, making this currently as polluted as Delhi, Dakar and Shanghai, believe it or not. So what began as a scooter ride up to explore the further beauty of Northern Thailand has today become Thailand's most toxic bike ride. Okay guys, so as I start up the bike, let me explain to you the route that we'll be taking. I'll be following the so-called Mei Hong Song Lu, which essentially is a three hour and 130 kilometer journey between the town of Chiang Mai, where I've been staying, to an even smaller town in the far north of Thailand known as Pai. Now this particular loop is known for its beautiful mountain passes once you get out of the city. However, what's really important to emphasize is just how bad the air quality is likely to be. Even as we climb higher in the mountains, I just don't know whether or not the particles will be settling lower down or stored up in the clouds. So I'm embarking with much trepidation and indeed making a point of narrating some of these sections so that I'm preserving my lungs and not having to breathe in even more particles shouting over the noise of the motorbike. All right, we have secured some provisions for the road just before we get too far out of town. There is my blue beauty. And before too long, we should be up on the country roads to get a real impression of where the burning is coming from. So, as I hop on the bike, get the helmet back on, I will join you as we get a little bit further out of town onto the real route, and I'll explain more to you now about the real cause of the situation and exactly what is going on up in those hills. Let's go. The phenomenon arises from agricultural practices where farmers burn their fields to prepare for the next planting cycle. And additionally, wildfires in dry forests exacerbate the situation at this time of year. And when you combine this with urban activities such as industrial manufacturing and general traffic pollution, the result is this pervasive haze that engulfs a region significantly impacting air quality. Smoke is okay today. You wear your mask though, it's a good idea. Yeah. Hey brother. <laughs> in that telltale smog. Things aren't too bad yet, but as we've just seen back there, we've obviously got other road users, other people on bikes wearing their masks. All right, I've just taken a quick pit stop in here as it's taking a lot longer than anticipated on this particular route that Google Maps has sent me on to actually get out of town. So I've probably got about another 15 or 20 minutes of this fairly boring um, downtown metropolitan route where it's all concrete. Before then, we should get out and see some of the real beauty of Northern Thailand, which is what I came to see before figuring that the pollution might well be 
a big deal. As things are at the moment, it doesn't seem too bad. I'll let you all know when we take a stop off at this special cafe along the way. It's going to be really cool. Built up with a band and aeroplane. So, I'll get this mask up with my other hand. See you all there. crazy place how incredibly random we've got some information about this here it's apparently an airbus i thought it was boeings that were meant to be grounded <laughs> who'd have thunk it anyways what is here does this tell us the entry fee in order to get up here or is it okay it just appears to be more airplane facts which i'm sure you would be riveted to hear however maybe i will save that for another vlog another one of my business class fare reviews. What we need is a ticket, I believe, to enter. And hopefully it might include a coffee. So I'm here for the caffeine as much as the aeronautical spectacle. Okay, aha, uh -huh. let's see. Hello, my dear, so what do you crap? Ah, so I buy one ticket and it includes a coffee. Amazing, all right, so we get entrance to the diamond cafe and we can choose from i guess any one of these drinks here now or i'll tell you what i might actually go off piste and rather than having coffee i might actually go for one of the brown sugar teas like the hong kong milk tea or dirty tea whatever it is could i please have one of those yes. thank you and i will buy my ticket okay. yes. how much is one ticket one ticket 150 Okay, 150 baht. That seems reasonable. Welcome on board. Thank you very much. This has got to be the friendliest airline, the, friend, the best flight I've ever taken. Thank you very much. If only every airline was like this. TSA, take note. Here is our ticket. Riding, boarding time, anytime between 9 a.m. and 6 p.m. I like it. No rushing for the gate here. We can just saunter up. This is maybe what the PJ experience is like for the big time YouTubers that I've obviously yet to become. But one day, perhaps, this will be commonplace. So, let's board the Air Diamond Cafe. A first class experience. Hello, my dear. Here is my boarding pass. Um, I hope that uh, there will not be turbulence here. I hope it will be a safe flight. I wonder, is it still operational? Oh no, it's a trash box. You've got to sit in a box. But that's kind of cool. Obviously, these are all still the original parts. Maybe they keep live vests and stuff in there before. You can see that they've actually still got some. <laughs> this property of Thai Airlines, that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, look, man, I'll tell you what, the amount of planes that I'm on nowadays, in some ways, this is kind of the last place I want to be. But for the novelty, with some appropriate pre-flight music going on overhead, what a place, what a place. Why don't I, uh, why don't I take a seat here in first class? Oh, that's what I'm talking about. We need this kind of leg room, but alas, just as I sit down, the irony of ironies, my drink is ready. It is already here. So let me get back to you in a minute and I will give you a review of the in-flight refreshments. Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Okay guys, we have our drink and yes, I have a window seat with a wonderful view over the wing. As a nervous flyer, this is thankfully the safest part of the plane and just in case anything goes wrong, I am mere feet away from presumably a fully operational escape slide. So with the utmost comfort and familiarity sitting back here in the cheap seats as opposed to first class up there, Let's sit back, take in the surroundings as we can see some of the hills and have a sip of Black's Bubbles here on Air Diamond Chiang Mai, a one-way flight to nowhere.
Mm. Ah, that is refreshing. I wonder if the aircon works. I guess not. Does this work? <laughs> okay, not quite. So I think they have they have disabled some of the original features, the electronics at least, to prevent irritants like me from pressing buttons and annoying everyone. Anyways, mm. okay, let's see if there actually is a toilet on board. Because after all of that, we're two hours ahead of me. I could probably do with a brief respite. Let me ask here, one of the friendly attendants. Hello, my friend. Is there a toilet on board? Uh, toilet is downstairs. It's downstairs? Yeah. Okay, all right. It may not be that literal, but we can check out the uh, the cockpit through here. And maybe I can dress up as a pilot. Do you think that it would suit me? Working in aviation? I don't know. Oh, look, you can even borrow the costumes. Let's take a look at the cockpit. I don't want to spend too long messing around. Just look at this. How cool. All the switches, everything with this being an actual plane is original. How oh, cool, do not touch. You don't want to mess up the oxygen setting. Otherwise we will all suffocate. Is this the pilot seat or co-pilot? Who sits on the right hand side? Is there a particular order? Oh, I like it though, look at this. To be honest, I don't know how many hours I could do stuck in here. Like pilots who are doing these long haul flights, man, it must get so boring. Just look. Man, I'm already bored. I think it's more exciting being on the bike. Let's get out of here and back on the road and go to see what we came for. So before too long, the scenery should change. And yeah, I will be keeping the mask on. As I expect it to get a lot more severe now from here. We've been lucky so far. guys I've just seen a sign for a waterfall up here which I thought we could go and check out Mok Fa let's see if it is Mok Fa or not that far away is this it ah okay yeah the waterfall is over there so let me uh, let me inquire within see whether we can get ourselves a ticket a ticket up to the waterfall. Thank you very much. You. So Thank I you. just, it's just over here. Left and right. Thank you. All right. So you can see the signs back to Pi, having just come off the uh, motorway in that direction. But it's now a lot greener than what we've seen so far. So Mok Fa Waterfall, 350 meters this way. They still have a royal portrait welcoming us, or rather reminding us of their ever presence throughout the country, like all true democracies. Anyways, let's get towards this waterfall. Well, I did not expect to see something so beautiful and equally powerful on the way up to the hills. But that's got to be the most impressive thing that I've seen since I bathed in Yargala waterfalls back in Estonia. Who could forget that from my early adventures? Anyways, we must get moving as I want to continue through to Pai and explore and discover what we came to see and along the way document more of the issues that are impacting the air quality but so far for the beautiful scenes behind me it's hard to believe that anything so sinister could be going on here hey guys take care enjoy your food all right without further ado let's make my way back towards the bike and continue on Oh, only kidding. To pie. Let's go. Now let's examine the sobering reality. The air pollution stemming from burning season exacts such a heavy toll on public health. 
academic research indicates a correlation between elevated levels of particulate matter, in other words PM2.5, and increased morbidity and mortality rates. And it can lead to conditions such as heart disease, strokes, and not surprisingly, respiratory ailments, which are most prevalent amongst the population at this time of year. And it's leading to a profound human cost. The numbers involved are absolutely staggering. And the implications, of course, are dire. What's up? Okay. <laughs> uh, you, you, you give me, uh, you give me, I, 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 I. Yeah, I, I give you some. There we go, guys. You've been waiting here a while, long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. I share with you. I have this little bit. Yeah. Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> you Cheers. and you give me to buy and I buy two water and change, change, change. Ah, okay. And, and change both down. Oh, so you're putting yeah, water yeah, yeah. by the... No, no. I see. You, 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 you give me, I, I to buy and the one, two, three, four, five. Six. Ah, okay. Well, I've just shared my water with you, so enjoy but uh, enjoy. Yeah, now you've taken my water i'm not also buying more uh, i'm without water myself but uh, nice to meet you cheers never, never, never. okay enjoy your yeah, yeah, yeah. enjoy blessing yeah, yeah, your yeah. roadside ornaments yeah, okay, with my yeah. water i will go yeah. on this good water luck, luck, luck. yeah thank you all right see you mm. yeah, yeah, all right guys yeah, yeah, yeah. i have the remainder of my nest in pure life and now a monk has some water for his shrines. I thought he was in need of water or a lift, but that bottle is going to join the many outside the shrines while I bake in the sun and breathe in the fumes. Anyways, let's get back on the road. See what else unfolds on our way to Pi. So what's been done about it and is anything really changing when it comes to burning season? Well, despite best efforts to mitigate some of the effects, many academics are underscoring the urgency of reform to address the root causes, including regulatory measures and sustainable agricultural practices for farmers. However, any real progress has been hindered by various factors, including economic interests, governance challenges, and clear conflicts of interest. And it's for these reasons that the need for concerted action and policy reform is paramount to safeguarding public health and environmental well-being throughout the region. It's a matter not only for Thailand, but also for their neighbors and indeed the globe. So what do it looks nice. Okay, let me see if I can get some food here. They look to have some kind of, I don't know, canteen offering or something. I'm not entirely convinced of that pork, given that it's at a roadside and it's sat there. I'm sure it'd be quite nice, but I'm a little bit worried about the old uh, FP. Maybe we'll just take a look in here. There appears to be some chicken. Maybe some other kind of chicken in yellow curry or similar. That one feels, uh, it feels nice and hot, so it should be quite fresh. Maybe I'll go for that. But yeah, there doesn't look to be uh, much left. Maybe I've come a little bit too late. That one's super hot. It looks to be like some eggs or something in there. Maybe it's balut, I don't know. Ah, uh, and then my favorite, the minced pork. Do I have the last dregs of the minced pork? I think I'm gonna have to get something here to try. And fingers crossed, it's, uh, it's not gonna make me look. Yes, sir, yeah, let's get something. Okay, do I just have to set myself? Okay, I will have this uh, this young man to uh, to help me. What is in there? Can you show me? Yeah. Okay. Let's. Uh, you come through. I know you know. You show me. Oh, okay. I can't step through there. Okay, it must be health and safety. Oh, okay. Food hygiene. I understand. 
I am the dirty one amidst the flies and everything else. Anyways, okay. This looks to be sat around for a long time, so that doesn't look appealing. This is not what I want. Was it this one? Ah, uh, there's only a little left. Is it fresh? What is this? Can you show people? Okay. Can I have a chef's eye view? Is it uh, chicken guy or? No, chicken. Chicken? Okay. If it's fresh, I will have some chicken and rice, please. Okay. I have no idea what the mystery chicken is going to be. Hopefully it's a nice tasty curry without many bones in. But we're going to find out. I can see before I even begin that there's quite a lot of oil on the surface, which means that there should be really good flavor, not in a disgusting or a bad way. That oil should coat nicely the, obviously marinate the chicken, but coat the noodles really nicely. You often see heavy use of oil in Indian food when you're actually in India as it's the thing that combines or binds the flavors together, particularly when you're using something without much fat in terms of the meat, such as chicken, as opposed to, I don't know, beef, pork, whatever it may be. So without further ado, let me grab some utensils and we will dive in to whatever it is, guy, which means chicken. Let's go. Mm. Amazing. So in terms of the flavors, I can see some of the, what I think is spring onions there, or maybe it's some of the cabbage greens. I've got flavors of coriander as well going through there. You can see the red onions that have been used as opposed to white or shallots, whatever they may be. Mm. I know people back home who will go to fancy Thai restaurants, it, high it, end, it, 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 and they will pay perhaps 20 sterling or something for like a a Thai curry and rice. I've been told that I should add some of this to it. We've got some greens there and some of the green chili as well. It's good. They add kind of a like a pickle taste and obviously some more green and some more veg to it but personally and I guess this is what it's all about where you can season it to taste yourself. This is what I love about Thai food. You always have that out on the table. In my case, I like it the way it is, just with a little extra chili to add to the heat. But yeah, the lovely creamy oiliness, oiliness in a good way that you get with the sauce, coating everything. Mm. So good. Thank you, 50 baht. 50? Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you very much. And the name of it was? Khao Soi. Khao Soi. My new favorite, that was honestly delicious. Yes. Thank you, my friend. You. I really yeah. enjoyed. Take care. Yeah. All right, guys, suitably refreshed from my, I've already forgotten what it was. <laughs> Let's just rewind the tape. The delicious Thai curry that I just had with noodles. It is time to get back on the horse and conclude with our arrival in Pai to get a proper feel definitively of what this supposed pollution is all about because right now I have a spring in my step a zing on my tongue and I see only blue skies up there WTF let's go Check it out guys, a water buffalo. Hello sir, how are you? So what do you crap? It's like being back in Vietnam, I'm seeing similar animals now, the oxen, the water buffalo. They're so peaceful, just here by the roadside. There's a whole family over here. So the pollution doesn't appear to be so bad today. Certainly not as bad as people made out. I was really genuinely bracing for Delhi, which was like post-apocalyptic. But these guys seem happy enough. I don't feel anything in my nose or throat as I did back down in the city in Chiang Mai. So maybe we've struck it lucky. Maybe we've come on a good day. You can see the blue skies above us here, even if it gets hazy in that direction. So I've got to say, as much as I set out today fearing the worst and preparing myself 
to be making a really heavy documentary and something that was pretty soul destroying for humankind given the nature of the burning it just hasn't transpired now that's not to say that it doesn't exist perhaps I've become somewhat normalized to it even in just the few hours that I've been here and it might just be a better day it has been pretty windy pretty breezy on the way up and there was rain yesterday so that will no doubt have shifted it however amidst the buffaloes and everything else yeah it must be said that it's important to come out and experience these things for yourself man it is just perfect it is nothing like the Armageddon that people had warned me about before setting off here this morning and now I'm beginning to see more of the beauty that makes this place second only to the Hajang Loop in Vietnam which remains perhaps the best thing that I've done in Asia absolutely incredible We're descending now down into presumably the town of Pai. I am beginning to detect some of the pollution again. And you won't really be able to uh, see this too easily, but through the trees, I can see how now, with the hills rising above us as we descend, that haze is shrouding a large portion of the skyline. I'm just catching it again there. I can feel the irritation building in my nose. Actually, my airways, my nasal passages are constricting slightly. It's noticeable as we are now lower and we're further into, I think, the haze beginning to return. I've had to completely close up my right eye which will not stop watering. It was doing it probably about an hour ago. I think I've got some dust or something in it, but, oh man, the irritant in the air has made it water uncontrollably. My nose now, I can, yeah, it's so constricted. It's like I've got a cold, flu. And I'm beginning to smell it. The air has a different odour, it's no longer clean as it was and fresh. Further up the mountain, now getting that, that peculiar smell. My nose is absolutely screaming. Oh man, and there you go. With one eye closed and wiping my nose, I'm nearly, yeah, taking that too wide. Okay, we've had to pull in and here's why, man. It will not stop watering. Oh. oh, that is grim. It's doing it like an hour ago and, oh man, can you hear? It's like you've got hay fever or a heavy cold or something. Oh, man, you can barely see it, particularly when you've only got one eye open like I have at the moment, but, oh. Oh. it's grim. Oh this down for a second dropping my things oh man so I'm by this checkpoint we've just passed nobody was there to stop us oh. but whatever it is it's in my right eye the irritation again which you can hear as gross as that is oh man I've got tissue paper in here let me show you oh. Right, I wouldn't usually do this on a video. Can you see nose is running? Let's grab a bit of this. Listen, as gross as this is gonna be, if you're eating your dinner, mute it. 
man. Eyes are streaming, nose is obviously going. And all of those particles are in my lungs, penetrating tissue and going into my bloodstream. The PM 2.5 particles. So there we go, just when we thought it was going to be a happy ending, whilst it hasn't been as bad oh, as I expected, you can see it taking its toll. <laughs> I can half see it. Man, there's something else. Let's see if I can wash my eye out. My eyeball Paul. Oh. It's not doing much. There's something in there like grit or I don't know what. Let's go again. Might as well have some while it's out. Oh. All right, guys. I'm gonna try and sort out my vision. And as soon as I have, we're going to finish up this final leg of the journey. You can see barely over 10 kilometers away, just 11k. I could run that anyway. See how it is down in Pi. Here we go. This is very much the classic scene of Pi and also the North in general. And whilst I can't tell whether or not these particular farmers have been burning, this might well be one of the areas or one of the contributors to the pollution that we've been talking about today. And just in the distance up there now, I can see more clearly the haze which is shrouding the hills, which makes sense or validates what I was beginning to sense as we came down the hillside a few minutes ago. But this, guys, is what it's all about. Not only the beauty of the region, but also what has been contributing to this problem that sweeps throughout the north of Asia, not just Thailand, and indeed affects even the big cities like Bangkok and so on at this time of year. It's so quite incredible, quite incredible. This is it. Well, after an impromptu stop off at the chemist to try and get some eye wash to remove this grit, which is still plaguing my right eye, I am pleased to say that we have arrived at where I'm staying, beautiful place in Pai. Now, why don't I give you a little room tour, which is overlooking this incredible rice field here. We've got Buddha statue up on the hillside, hammocks, deck chairs and things laid out for me, and also, an array of buffalo. Our friends are never too far away. So let me give you a little tour of the room, which is its own cabin as such. I'm getting quite used to these cabins, such as the one that I stayed in in North Vietnam. As you can see, we have air conditioning, somewhere to dry your clothes if you've been for a swim or something like that. And then this great double bed with a towel, everything you need. I'm only gonna be here until pretty much eight in the morning, so it won't be a long stay, but I have everything that I need. Tea and coffee, water, and yeah, the all important eye wash, which thus far hasn't done a great deal to shift the grit. It was absolutely excruciating. Anyways, moving on through into the bathroom, you can see the eye bath that I have been indulging in to no avail. And elsewhere in here, well, 
It's pretty basic, but it has everything that you need. It looks like a decent shower, plenty of space, even a bamboo lining to the ceiling. Very nice. Anyways, let me now take you out to where I want to close for the evening. There is the most beautiful view of the sunset just over this side. So let me take you over there. Let's check it out. And there it goes just over the hill. As I was checking in about five minutes ago, the sun was still there and it was absolutely incredible, but you still get an appreciation for the beauty of this place, particularly at sunset. And I can make out for the most part, the hills in the distance, albeit the nose is still streaming. I think that could be more to do with the grit that I've got in my eye than anything else, because honestly, oh, it's just getting worse and worse. Anyway, it's a shame to let grit get in the way of a great adventure. But I must say that whilst there's certainly a bigger issue here in terms of the, uh, the pollution and the government perhaps putting profit before its people, I've definitely been lucky for the most part today, <laughs> grit aside. With having had rain yesterday and a good breeze today, it's carried away a lot of that smoke as it's known. So, without further ado, and in need of another eye bath, <laughs> before repeating that journey back in the morning, I'm gonna sign out, and if I get use of both eyes back, I will see you all in the next video. Take it easy. <laughs>